My son's um, getting into um, Warhammer at the moment, and while he's building his army and painting it up, I thought I'd introduce him to a game that I used to play back in the late 80s and early 90s called Space Marine. Um, most um, Warhammer games are um, in 28mm scale. This is called um, Epic Space Marine because it is epic. Instead of having 28mm figures, you've actually got 6mm figures. Okay? What that means is um, you can have an entire army on your tabletop to play with. A few great vehicles, etc, etc, etc. And it's good fun. And as I say, I used to play it in the early 90s. Gave all this stuff away. Um, so I've just bought it back up um, on eBay. And so we're getting into that. And it's all coming flooding back to me. Um, and a lot of the designs are coming back to me that I've totally forgotten about. And um, looking at them, um, it's like, yeah, that's cool. Um, wouldn't mind having a go at making my own version. And the thing that I like the most so far is a thing called a Weird Boy Battle Tower. And it's used by the Orcs. The Orcs are, uh, are in this universe. Um, and it's all to do with this guy here, who's a psychic Orc. And um, basically what happens is the Orcs, they get one of their psychic Orcs, bung him in a battle tower, wheel it onto the battlefield, and he's out there um, influencing the battle by using his psychic powers. In epic scale, a battle tower is like this, so some sort of like tank vehicle with a tower with a little room for him at the top. Okay. And I really like the idea, and so I thought I'd have a go at making my own version, but not in 6mm scale, in 28mm scale. So, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Before I even started and before I show you what I'm doing, the, th the thing that I didn't want to do and the thing I, I like the concept, but what I don't like is the idea of having like a little cottage on a pole. Okay. Um, I just, you know, it's done to death and I didn't want to copy that. I wanted to go my own way. So this is where I am today. I've sort of got to lay it sideways first so you get an idea of the layout of it. Right, um, my take on it is all you need is one cell, one room for the orc to stand in and he looks out. So because of that, um, this is his cell, this is his room. Some of you might recognise it, it's the old NPC R2-D2 kit. Okay, and what I've done is that's the actual body. This is like the skirt area at the bottom, you know, that his uh, middle leg came out, but I put it up at the top just to raise up the height of the body just a tad. What I've done is I've cut this section out just here and I've backed it with more plastic card um, that I drilled holes in and this is like his window that the orc will be staring out of in times of um, real intense fighting he's protected in there. Okay. But I also figure if he can influence the battle from afar and he's not in the thick of it he could also climb up this little stack and he could sit in the top there and just peer out and you might have a figure of him just looking out there. Um, again, some of you might recognize this. This is one of the um, external um, uh, rockets for the old FX space shuttle kit. That's the very bottom of it and I've cut it right down. So that's like his little um, observation post. What else have I done? Okay, the next thing I did, I made this skirt out of plastic card and just had it jutting out again just to give a bit of interest and then on the back we've got a whole bunch of bits the yellow bit is a severely cut down chassis um, from an old 124th scale truck kit that I had lying around and I cut it down and I used this bit because I figured the fuel tanks they make for good orc detail um, various bits and bobs on the back, the Baco bricks from the 1960s that Martin Bauer used an awful lot um, on his spacecraft um, during Space 1999. My usual sticky jewels, I'll be adding more of these for little details. Um, what else have we got? Right, let's move down a bit. What we've got here for the actual tower itself, this is 
um, a part of our daughter's old toy uh, vacuum cleaner, which um, was going to be thrown out, but I kept that. And I'm mighty glad I did because it's actually injection plastic, so it, 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 it glues no problem. So what I've done, I'm using that, a couple of my Go Faster stripes round just for a bit of detail, but I'm, I'm not going to build it up out of plates and stuff like that that a lot of people do when they're making orc things because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stip all this and texturize it and it's just going to be like um, an old rusty uh, pipe that they've used. What I've done at the bottom is, um, don't wince at this, I've cut this uh, hole out for the door for him to actually ascend in. Um, it's not going to look as bad as that because the section that I cut off, what I've done is I've backed it with strips of plastic card and that's going to be like a, um, a fortified door. I don't know if, it, if the door's going to be shut or open a tad. Don't know yet. So that's down at the bottom. Um, I've also started, what I've started doing here is I've put a strip of plastic card around um, and I'm using cut down cocktail sticks and there's going to be a whole load of um, points sticking down just in case anybody gets on the, the wagon and tries climbing up to him just as a deterrent. Um, I've put some buttresses um, down onto the pipe as you can see and then on the back strip of uh, white pipe in there a piece of the Airfix uh, girder bridge kit and a bit of a uh, battleship, a deck off of a battleship and another bit of that um, external rocket from the space shuttle there, aircraft bit there, oh, and a bit of whatnot there. Um, the reason for all them being there is twofold. One is I'm going to put like tanks and all sorts of like gubbins attached to this framework, but also all this stuff up top is it's getting very very top heavy, so I need to anchor it. And I figure the more I stick to the bottom when eventually this attaches to the battle, battle wagon itself there's going to be more weight and it'll be a much better anchoring point. So that's where I am uh, right now. Next step is to build out um, I'm going to have some um, antennae coming out here and flagpoles and stuff like that you know. Um, oh! Miss this. A lot of the Orcs um, they try to make their vehicles almost look like faces so I've got some plastic hard here and I've made a set of teeth for him. That's where I am right now. Um, as I say, next it's flagpoles, finish off those cocktail sticks. I've got to think about what I'm going to do about the wagon. Um, there's two ways I see that I can go about it. One is to actually use a buggy or something like that, you know, a toy buggy with big wheels because that's very um, orc like. Could go that way, or maybe um, almost like action man sized tank and detail it up in the same manner that I'm doing here. But that's where I am at the moment. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before there's an update.